Hey, what's up guys? Mike Fix It back here again. Hey, today uh, I was kind of um, going to finish up my garage, but then, you know, I got to scrolling through uh, Facebook Marketplace and I know we needed a generator for camping um, so that we don't have to rely on uh, anybody for electricity or anything. So um, I started looking for generators and I came across this sweet deal for 200 bucks. It was a uh, 5,000 watt uh, XL. Don't even know where it was made. It's probably from Walmart, judging by that uh, sticker originally or Sam's Club. But it's 5,000 watt, Briggs and Stratton, 10 horsepower. Um, so, all right. So as, as you know, I just said $200 for this thing. But uh, as I was on the road headed out about 30 miles from where I live uh, to get this generator here, the gentleman that owned it called me and said, hey, I got some issues. Uh, it's not starting. First, he said there was a problem with the spark plug and the spark plug wire. He said that this thing was broke on top. So I, uh, I said, okay, no problem. So I was already about 10 miles out when he called me. So I said, hey, well, whatever's going on, let me come out here and uh, let me come out here, come out there and look at it, and then we can talk about it. So, anyway. Um, bottom line is, is I got it and the thing hasn't run. So I'm going to go through a, a walkthrough, uh, basically, uh, I couldn't hear it run. I feel like there's some compression in there and I saw, and I made sure that the engine turned over, but I didn't want to do anything else to it. Uh, at that time he had the, uh, air breather off, which I'm going to take off in a minute. And then I noticed that there was a liquid running down. So I grabbed it and I smelled it and it smelled like water. So what I think has happened here is, uh, he probably had some old gas sitting around in a can or something and uh it probably got water in the gas tank so i'm gonna go through my process of how i uh can um how we can see if this thing is running and and if the uh, gas is indeed uh the problem so you know i looked in here and it looked like the gas was pretty full but as you may or may not know uh gasoline floats on top of water so the water would actually be uh, down at the bottom of this tank and you wouldn't see it from just looking in there and you would still get a uh, Good fuel smell another thing that I noticed as I was doing a once over here was that this tank has a crack in it uh, right here by the mounting hole so I'll have to take this tank off and uh, get some uh, Some JB weld that is a uh, fuel resistant to to repair this cracked tank here um, There's not really not much pressure in there or anything so it doesn't have to be like a pressure fit It just needs to keep it from leaking so what I'll do is I'll take all these off and everything. But the first thing I'm going to do is uh, drain the fuel and make sure that I got the uh, spark plug in there proper because he told me that uh, he told me that he changed that. And then also you want to make sure that your switch is on and everything else. So first things first, let's go ahead and drain the fuel. So to do this, I'm going to get me a old cat litter container and I'm basically just going to um, I already had this was already off so it looks like somebody has already tried to do this before but this is the filter here and this right here is a clamp uh that holds on the filter so i'm just basically going to pull this apart and let all this fuel drain out yep i can smell right now that that is water so as you uh and i'm going to take this off so that it'll vent out take the lid off so that it'll vent and it'll start dripping more okay also underneath here, if you look under here, there's a nozzle that turns the fuel on and off. So that's how we do that. I can tell that there is a lot of water in there right now. None of that is fuel, that's all water. So I guarantee you that's the problem. So to remove the filter on this, I'm gonna take these two screws out. Flat bladed screwdriver, almost likely a 10 millimeter. Filter looks pretty clean. Looks like it's been maintenance, not ran very much. It looks really clean in there, so I'm pretty happy with that. Looks like the fuel's ran out. So that's good, I can get this out of here. Okay, I'm gonna plug this back up just to prevent leaking and I'm gonna get this gas out of the garage. Probably better to do this outside <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, but you can see it's starting to separate. He probably just had the fuel can sitting outside and it got water in it somehow. And then he went to fill it up and that's kind of what happened. So 
Before I put more fuel in it though, I'm gonna have to take the spark plug out, have to drain the, the uh, carburetor. So to drain the carburetor, there's a little screw on the bottom. All right, so I just got a little catch bin to go underneath there. And instead of taking this off, like I initially said, there is a drain hole or a drain bolt right here in the bottom of the carburetor bolt. I don't know if you can see that up in there. I'll try to get this in there, but that's a 12 millimeter uh, drain. You can see it back there. That's the carburetor bowl. That's what holds the fuel. So I'm draining that out right now so that we can, uh, I'm going to remove this bolt and I'm going to drain it so that we can get uh, any residual water out of there before I fill it back up with more fuel. You can see down in there that that is almost all water. So that's definitely the issue of why this thing wouldn't run. All right, so next thing you're gonna do after you drain the fuel tank and drain the carburetor, you're going to remove the spark plug. These generators have a nice little hole through the fuel tank to get the spark plug out. Oh yeah, and on the spark plug, I can immediately see water and this is a brand new spark plug that he had just put in there. Uh, he said maybe he fouled the plug no so uh, i wasn't trying to rip the guy off it just kind of happened like this sequence of events but um you know this is about 80 dollars worth of work so at a small engine repair shop cleaning out your fuel tank and everything take you about an hour so i figured the discount was worth it all right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure that the spark plug wire steers clear of anything here metal so nobody gets zapped and we don't cause any sparks unnecessarily and i'm just gonna pull the pull the chain to clear the cylinder all right i don't see anything coming out of there pulled it a couple times pulls pretty freely so i'm gonna put the spark plug back in there try to start it by hand first if I can get my hand down in there. <laughs> okay, spark plug started. Spark plug on these small engines is the same way. You don't want to... You don't want to over tighten it. You just want to tighten it just enough to cinch down the uh seal there's a steel or a soft metal seal in there all right and then spark plug just like that and it should fit snug on there fit really tight all right so you can see how i got the boot on the spark plug all right so uh guys i'm back here now i looked down inside the tank there you probably can't see it um on here but you can see that there's still a little bit of residual in there and i can see that there is fuel floating on top of water down there so before i add more fuel to this uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this towel the reason why i'm taking a towel and not a small rag and i'm going to shove it down in there to to absorb the rest of that this old dirty towel is so that I don't drop a rag in the tank and then I have to fish that out. So I'll have a towel. I'm gonna drop it down in there. I'm gonna use my extension on my socket here to push it down in there. Hold on to your hold on to your extension. You don't want that to fall in there. Okay, let me get it down in there to the bottom. Shove it down in there. I'm gonna move this around a little bit just to kind of get any other fuel around it. 
Once I got it to the bottom, the towel should be at the bottom now. Get it down in there. Shake it around, get any of that residual water that might be left inside your tank out or fuel. Pull it on out. Yep, and I can smell that there's fuel in there. Okay, now you can look down in there and you can see that all of that uh, liquid is now gone. There's just a little bit, just a little bit of liquid that I'm just gonna leave it in there. So most likely fuel, but this is soaked. I'm gonna take it outside, put it with the gassy stuff that I'll dispose of properly later. Got my fresh fuel, just a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, enough to get this thing started. This is a spark, spark tester. It's basically a test light that hooks up to your spark plug. And you hook this end to your spark plug or just like you normally would. And this end, your wire goes on. All right, so that's hooked up. Turn on your spark. We do got some spark, you can see right there. See the light moving, that means you got spark. Okay. So we should be able to get some fuel ignited in there with that spark. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit more with my pliers here. That way it stays on the uh, spark plug. Close up that ring in there so it stays more tight around the spark plug. All right, there we go. Now we know we're getting good spark there. It's on, choke is on. There it is. 